that God had his people that he made. Because as we go through the scriptures, it tells us that the people, his people, are his bride. Right? And so his bride has sinned against him, was disobedient, and uh, was unfaithful, in other words. And so he had to, uh, let me back up a little bit, what caused the sin in Adam and Eve was obviously the, uh, the king of this world. We all know who that is. The devil himself. That old serpent. The slyest and subtle of every beast of the field. He's uh, the craftiest. He's the deceiver of everything. And the father of lies, I will tell you. But anyway, he made it look good. He made it look good to Eve that, uh, that to partake this tree in the middle of the garden that uh, actually the serpent, the devil, took the question to Eve and says, uh, uh, you know, about the tree, did, uh, did God tell you to eat from the tree? From this tree? I'm paraphrasing all of that, but I, we don't need to go to them scriptures just yet. But. And she says, God said, no, we must not eat from this tree that's in the middle of the garden. For if we do, we should surely die if we eat it. And she even mentioned if we touch it, but that wasn't in the God's plan. But I think that's where the devil comes in. If we don't know the scriptures precisely, he's going to attack us as you can't believe. So he says to her, oh, you will surely not die, but you will be like God. You will know right and wrong. You will know good and evil. You will have knowledge. So it says that Eve saw that it was good to eat, and that the desire of it looked good. You know, the desires of this world today look good, don't they, a lot of times. But when we get to the other side, the grass always looks greener there, but we get there, we start looking, and it's not quite as good as we thought. Well, you know, there's this wrong and that wrong, and uh, what, the, what am I doing here, you know? It just looks good. He, that's what the devil does. He makes things look good to us, trying to deceive us. You know, we might have pleasure for a short period, but the grief and the anger that comes afterwards is, is not good. So anyway, uh, he deceived her, and she takes from it, from that tree of life, or from the tree of good and evil, knowledge for good and evil. And, uh, and they saw that she didn't die, so she gave to her husband Adam, right? And he did eat. And then, then it says that they knew right from wrong, and they. They were ashamed, it says, and they, and they had to clothe themselves because they knew that they were naked then. Yeah. Their sin was exposed, you see. And then God comes to cool the night, it says, in the garden, and with his voice, they heard his voice, so they hid from him. And God's calling, where are you? And they said, we hide, we're, we're hiding from you because we're afraid. We, uh, and, uh, and God says, how do you know you're afraid? What did you do? Did you eat from the tree that I command you not to? Yeah. And that's, see, what I think happened here, there was no remorse, no sorrow, the way I see it. Because the first thing that Eve said is, uh, or had, let's see, the first thing that was said was uh, that you, Adam said, the woman you gave me, she gave this to me. <laughs> so he put the blame right away <laughs> on the Eve. <laughs> and then he says to uh, the Eve, well, what's the deal here? He said, well, the serpent beguiled me. 